Guilty as charged, Yankuba Ture looked on as the judge passed the judgment, his hands behind his back. The guilty verdict came at exactly 3 p.m. on Wednesday. Justice Ibrahim Ajayda said the prosecution had proven its case beyond reasonable doubt. I have no cogent reason to disbelieve the testimonies of the prosecution witnesses because defense witnesses themselves admitted that there was no reason for the prosecution witnesses to lie against the accused person. I have had the opportunity to watch the accused person, our Minty, Mami Minty, closely when they were giving evidence. I must say that their demeanors were not convincing at all, and I am not persuaded by it. As Mami Minty and our Minty admitted on the cross-examination that they would do anything possible to make the accused person happy and protect him. In my view, these admissions on cross-examination leave much to be desired. I am therefore satisfied that the prosecution has sufficiently established the constituent elements of the offence as charged. I am further satisfied that the prosecution has proved their case beyond reasonable doubt and the accused person, Yang Kubaturi, is accordingly found guilty and convicted as charged. The judge said he believed the testimony of Alaji Kanyi and three others who testified in the case, whose testimonies, he said, depicted the true picture of how Mr. Usman Kuro Sisi was murdered in cold blood in 1995. This testimony of Alaji Kanyi shows a grand scheme of conspiracy by Edward Singate, Peter Singate, and the accused person to kill Usman Kuro Sisi. Alaji Kanyi gave evidence that they, BK Jata, Tumbul Tamba, and Pa Aliu Gomez, were briefed by Edward Singate when they were going to get rid of someone and they were taken to the residence of the accused person in Kerseri. Alaji Kanyi stated that at the time of the uh, time of arrival at the residence of the accused person, there were no guards or family members of the accused in his residence. Alaji Kanyi further gave evidence of how Edward Singate and Peter Singate went to the airport while he was instructed to be on guard at the residence of the accused person. Alaji Kanyi also gave evidence that the said Edward Singate and Peter Singate returned to the residence of the accused person from the airport. He stated that the accused person came with them to his residence. Alaj Kanyi, Kanyi further gave evidence that Edward Singate arrived at the residence of the accused person with the disease and it was, and, and it was signaled to him, Alaj Kanyi, by Edward Singate that the disease was the one to be killed. Alaj Kanyi further went on to give eyewitness account of how Peter Singate used a pistol to hit the disease, followed by Edward Singate. He also gave evidence that the accused person also used the same pistol to hit the disease, whom at the time fell on the ground. He also gave evidence that BK Jata, Tumbul Tamba, Pa Ali Gomez, and himself were instructed by the accused, by Edward Singate, to hit the disease with the said pistol, which they, pistol which they did. I have observed the demeanor of Alaji Kanyi whilst testifying in tears as to how Usman Koro Sisi was bullgoing to death. In my view, the tears from Alaji, Alaji Kanyi were not crocodile tears, they were tears of remorse and regret. Alaji Kanyi testified that the place was full of blood and that Edward Singata instructed them to place the body of Usman Koro Sisi in his official car, vehicle, which they did. Alaji Kanyi also gave evidence of how they, BK Jata, Tumbul Tamba, Pa Ali Gomez and himself were instructed to clean the blood in the house of the accused person. While Edward, Sing Edward Singate, Peter Singate and the accused himself left with the body of the deceased. I must say that the above piece of evidence by Alaji Kanyi shows that the accused person was a primary participant in the killing of Usman Koro Sisi. Alaji Kanyi, as an eyewitness, stated how the accused person, together with Edward Singate, Peter Singate, BK Jata, Tumbul Tamba, Pa Ali Gomez, and himself used a pistol to hit Ed Usman Koro Sisi to death. Alaji Kanyi's evidence also shows that when they finished hitting the disease to death with the said pistol, they placed his body in the disease official vehicle. I must say clearly that this evidence has not been con materially controverted or challenged by the, by the accused person, and there was no cro enough cross-examination to destroy the veracity of the evidence of Alaji Kanyi. The judge had wanted to adjourn the case for sentencing, but Mr. Ture's lawyer said sentencing in such a case was simple and there was no need to return to court on another day when the Eid is just around the corner. 
The judge then took about five minutes and then handed out his sentence. Having found the convict guilty of murder, guilty of mo the murder of Usman Koro Sise in cold blood, and having considered that this court does not have any discretion under section 188 of the criminal court, the convict Yankuba Ture is hereby sentenced to death. And uh, pass one to section 252 of the criminal procedure court, the said sentence of death shall be by hanging. Mr. Ture declined to speak to the FAD network as prison police officers escorted him out of the courtroom. Mr. Ture, do you have any comment? Careful. Mr. Ture, do you have a comment? <laughs> Ture's lawyer said they would mount an appeal of the conviction and the sentencing. We're going to file an appeal. Simply sit down. I will talk to my client. Hopefully, he will file an appeal. You will file an appeal. Thank you. A small crowd of sympathizers who were in court to stand in support of Mr. Ture were dissatisfied by the judge's verdict. That is some of the people. Ibrahim Ajayi is a liar. They're all the same people. They're, you, you, you mean the judge? They're the one who killed Kolosise. It's not Yankubo Ture. Yankubo Ture has nothing to do with Kolosise's death. He will be free. My father was my father. was this. My father, I took him Was sentenced to death, but he was free. The court of appeal. Yes. Ibrahim Jeffrey is a liar. So you are saying the judge is a liar? He's a liar. He's a judge. He's a liar. Are you insulting the judge? No, but he's telling the truth. There's no truth in it. He's one-sided. What are you going to do? What we're going to do? We live in Almighty Allah. What are you to Yankuba Ture? What are you to Mr. Ture? I'm his brother. Welcome. So that is a brother there. So you you are also not happy? I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy. And this will not happen in the Gambia. It will never happen in the Gambia. And if, if this thing will happen in the Gambia, the whole the whole Gambia will be there. Nobody can see this. No. We don't. Hey. So those are the reactions from some of the people that are here. Justice <laughs> Lumo Lumo Wahe Lumo Ride his ruling Mungla Wanella Mungla Wanella Sumaya who gives me the Kuko. I've been following this court. Kulagis Hamne, this part of the organized conspiracy and campaign against Yajami and APRC. We have Mwene, so they get a justice judge in Mwahe. Liga Hamne, it was Singate, it was Singate. Mominga have no more the auto of all this nonsense. Huh? The, the main guy behind this. You in back of the IRC. You are a murderer. You back of the murderer. So it's a guy by prosti. So you then yell, 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 then Because they are not the IRC. And you know, it was a stage protest outside the IRC. Why are you coming to the race again? So, I'm going to take a BP. I'm It's becoming lawlessness. They're going to die. And you know that, my brother. They're going to die. So, they're going to move up. I'm going to go to Edward Singate. Edward Singate. Edward Singate. Edward Singate is responsible for all this mess. They're going to die. They're going to die. Why not? We're going to appeal. We're going to appeal. Yes, we're going to appeal. The Amgen confidence in us will appeal appeal with the end success. Of course. Because we're going to go to the end of the day. Allah is the only one. Allah is the only one. You are not alone. You are not alone. It was singing at it. It was singing at it. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. Because you're not here to see.
Yes, it's a conspiracy. Yes, it's a conspiracy. So young, young people is being used as a scapegoat? Of course. Of course. I don't see nothing. Mom, we are the, I mean, the, the testimony of Allah is Kanji is, uh, is credible. The Allah is Kanji, we get implicated, Edward Singhate. We get implicated, Edward Singhate. So Edward Singhate is the author of the death of the uh, Kurosisi. He's the main guy behind this. Then go because I don't like what I need to do. But we are not. Huh? Of course. No, he is illegally sentenced to death. He is an innocent somebody. Yanko is a nice man. You all know that. I've been following this uh, uh, from day one. But Honorable Babu Karinyang. Yes. So I know what's going on. Then go use as a scapegoat. You know, Lord and It's a conspiracy and campaign against the APRC government on a Yajami. Lord and you are So you have to be very careful. They have to be very, very careful. So you have to be 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 very for this, they are not fair, my brother. You know, you, you, Thank you. So, um, uh, viewers, that is the development here at the High Court in Banjul. Well, since this I mean, case started way back in 2019, when Mr. Yankoba Ture appeared before the TRRC and refused to testify, saying he had constitutional immunity, that went to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court said that Mr. Ture must stand trial for the murder of Koro Sise. So judgment came today. This judgment was an extensive, very lengthy uh, uh, marathon uh, judgment there by Justice Ibrahim Jaite. He looked at a number of issues. One thing that he looked at, he relied heavily on the testimony of Alaji Kanye. Alaji Kanye came to court, admitted taking part that he was an accomplice in the murder of Korosise. He went through everything, what how they murdered the plan from the planning, how it was staged, and how they hit bludgeoned Mr. Korosise way back in June 1995 uh, to uh, death. So the uh, judge relied heavily on that, and but also the judge also I mean I mean uh, uh, looked at a number of issues. One thing also he looked at has to do with the issue of proving the case beyond reasonable doubt. That burden lied. Um, uh, with the prosecution, but according to the judge, the prosecution, I mean, I mean, proved their case beyond reasonable uh, doubt. The other issue has to do with the issue of alibi. Mr. Ture came to court initially when he was arrested by the police. He refused to speak. He said he had constitutional immunity and he was not going to say anything. So one thing in court that happened is when he opened his defense and he was testifying in his own case, Mr. Ture said that the day or the night the Mr. Korosisa was murdered, he was in, in fact there. He said he went to the airport to see of the uh, then president Ajame and then from there. He went to State House where he met the commander of the State House, uh, Mr. Lantom Montamba, that he chatted with, 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 with Mr. Tamba. So this is al alibi that the judge rejected. He said this, he should have told police this so that the police can uh, investigate and try to find out the veracity of this. But he said this never happened. And he came to court and when uh, he was being cross-examined, the prosecution asked him whether he was ready to call uh, the former president's driver, who, uh, who is alive, as well as Mr. Langton Montamba, but he said no. So as a result, he dismissed that. And um, subsequently, he convicted, he found Mr. G uh, Ture guilty of murdering Koro. Initially, what he wanted to, to do was to adjourn and then later return with the sentencing. But the lawyer of Mr. Ture said he should just go ahead and, 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 and hand over the sentencing. And in his sentencing, it was actually very quick. In a, mo in, a, in a space of two, three minutes, he came out with his sentencing and he sentenced Mr. Uh, Ture to death. According to the uh, 187 of the Criminal Procedure Court, he sentenced him to death. And this death, he said, should come by way of hanging. Levin Jai reporting for the Fatu Network here at the High Court in Banjul.